that. <laughs> so here we are, Lloyd Wallace, British aerial skier. Um, so hey Lloyd, how's your summer been? Yeah, it was alright. Yeah, yeah. Up and down though, I imagine. Yeah, there, yeah, a couple of peaks and troughs. Um, I was, it was, I had a really good summer, really good trip, got some really good training in, and then uh, yeah, unfortunately had a bit of a bit of a crash, which set me back quite far and. I'm pleased to say that I'm, I'm fully recovered and I'm back on it. Sweet, so feeling good, feeling strong for the season now? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Feeling, feeling back to normal. Um, and I've just got back from two weeks of training in Switzerland, managed to get back upside down again, which was a really, really awesome feeling. Sweet. What kind of moves are you working on at the moment? Uh, well, it's the beginning of, se beginning of the season, pre-season, kind of getting back into it after the crash. It's just kind of single somersaults and double somersaults, all the simples um, for us really. Um, and then I'll be moving up hopefully to triples when I go out to Finland in the next few weeks. Nice, and when you're sort of really firing at your top level, what kind of, what moves are you throwing down on the jumps? Uh, well, I will hopefully be doing, getting up to triple twisting, triple backflips, um, and quadruple twisting, triple backflips, which uh, I did the first of uh, last season. So I did my first ever full, double full full, which is a triple backflip with one twist in the first, two twists in the second flip, and then one twist in the third flip. And um, okay. I, was, uh, I was pretty happy to be the first British guy to ever do that. I can't even get my head around that. I don't know how you managed to get that down in the <laughs> Well, air. your head goes round quite a lot of times, actually. <laughs> you do quite dizzy when you land. Uh, no, you get used to it. <laughs> I did elite level gymnastics till I was about 13, and uh, it represented the Southwest and went to nationals. And then from there, I kind of, I'd been training up to 18, 20 hours a week doing that and got, just wanted to do other stuff, wanted to play other sports and kind of uh, like just just combined the two, combined skiing, combined gymnastics and got aerial skiing. And I was lucky enough that my parents used to do it back in the day. My parents uh, went to the Olympics and represented Team GB in freestyle skiing. So uh, the path was pretty clear for me. Were they pretty pleased when you were kind of taking up the mantle? Yeah, yeah, I think they were. I think they were pretty proud and just, you know, excited that I get to do something that they, 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 they had really enjoyed and really loved doing when, when they were younger. Uh, it's looking very positive. I put myself in a really good position last, last season. Um, so I've done all my qualification that I need to do for the British Olympic Association and I just need to stay in the top 25 in the world um, over the next six events and then, then I'm there. Cool and so freestyle skiing and sort of aerials are obviously they have some similarities and they're in the air but there's only seems to be one series of aerials competitions whereas freestyle there's two. Yeah well yeah if freestyle skiing is like the overarching discipline of the sport and we call it uh, so Aerials is classed as like one of the old school disciplines and uh, slope style and half pipe are new school um, and yeah theirs is a lot more and they've got like invitational events, pro events and ours is mostly run by the uh, by FIS um, and those are pretty much the only the only events that we, we get to go to during the season. Cool, but you're sticking to aerials, don't fancy giving the big air a go. Uh, I'm not sure if I could twist off axis, it's, it's pretty different because I went from gymnastics straight into aerials so they, they they kind of throw themselves and like get their get their shoulders to go like yeah they they they, they spin on a, on a different axis to what I'm used to and I can I can do some of those, their tricks on the trampoline but I, I, I'd have to it would be a big old transition if I were to go to them. Okay, sweet. So learning to like how to ride a bike again almost. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, uh, learning to ride a really weird bike. Okay, well let's <laughs> stick to the aerials for this season then. Yeah, yeah. all right. Cheers, man. Thank, Thank you. you.